Welcome back to It's a Vase Productions, where today I'm looking at part two of Frankie Boyle on Mock the Week, best of Frankie Boyle on Mock the Week, too hot for TV. The first part had me laugh my ass off. He is hilarious. He knows no bounds. And he's so quick, he's so quick with it. It's right there. It's like on the tip of his tongue. He's done. People are not even finished talking. And he's like, oh, man, I'm going to kill it with this one. They're like, damn. So very much looking forward to this. Part two, Frankie Boyle, Mock the Week, Too Hot for TV. What does C-T-A-L stand for? It's just a review of Cherie Crap Tits R Slackluster. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry Troy's anal lube. <laughs> I think his wedding ring came off when he was using the anal lube. <laughs> that sounds like how you'd advertise it as a product, sort of like, I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> I can't believe it's not butter, mm. but that is anal lube. <laughs> it's that thing with politicians' crap jokes, isn't it? So Blair's big joke from his speech was, well, I, I don't need to worry about Cherie running away with the bloke next door. And they just loved, loved that. It. Yeah, I, I, it took a while for it to sink in with me that he meant Gordon Brown. I thought he just meant because she's a minger. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, he's, he's worried about his legacy, and his legacy is secure. He'll be remembered forever as a mass murdering bastard. <laughs> in a hundred years' time, he'll be a, an Iraqi fairy tale that mothers use to frighten their children. <laughs> I, I know, I know a woman who breastfed one of her children till he was five, and she used to turn up when he was in primary one and put her breast through the railing <laughs> his lunch. Thank you. I, was, I was there every day at 12 o'clock. <laughs> Subject is the uh, Middle East. What? <laughs> you know when, when everything kicked off in Lebanon, all the Scandinavian countries evacuated all their people the minute anything happened? Do you know where they put them? Syria. <laughs> what was that called? Operation Out of the Frying Pan. <laughs> And then we had bombs coming through Presswick Airport to be dropped on civilians over there. I mean, it's really grim, but I suppose our only hope is that Presswick Airport will have done their usual, got it all mixed up with their luggage. <laughs> Lebanon will have got bombed with stuff Scottish folk are trying to bring back from their holidays. <laughs> You'll switch on the news to see a children's school getting levelled by 40,000 packets of Benson and Hedges. <laughs> Anything on here? We're just carrying on? No. No, a man who's been freshly trained to replace a microphone into a microphone stand. <laughs> See how easy it is? So this should go OK. Right OK. Way. Perhaps next week we could get a clip that doesn't have a spring on it like a nun's pussy. <laughs> the answer is three billion. What is the question? How many people could Jesus feed with a KFC bucket? <laughs> <laughs> how much sperm constitutes a mouthful? <laughs> I've also got to presume there's a fair amount of fuel burning in order to get galactic. You, that just, it doesn't strike me as something you could do with a large rubber band and a walk back. <laughs> if that fuel is going to put Richard Branson on the moon, that's a price worth paying for. <laughs> Let's try and get him into the sun. <laughs> How long is it before we get flooded? Because... Oh, that's sooner, oh, unfortunately, yeah. yeah. yeah but on the, on the plus Norwich, side... Norwich is supposed to be underwater within 20 years. And the locals are delighted because after centuries of inbreeding, they finally get to use their webbed feet and hands. <laughs> Inadvised things to say in court. So, to summarise, there's no evidence, but he does look a bit rapey. <laughs> and I put it to you, my lad, that that child is sexy. <laughs> I was performing the Heimlich manoeuvre and it sort of turned into the wheelbarrow position. <laughs> There must be a perfectly simple explanation. I must have a long-lost twin who has identical sperm. <laughs> Things a sports commentator would never say. Like a lot of people watching this Olympics, I'm wondering why black people don't just take over the earth. <laughs> just reading through the names of this Chinese team is making me feel hungry. <laughs> this woman isn't just a world-class curler, she's also a model. <laughs> And not a gold medal, but a lead bullet for another Brazilian stepping off the track at the London Olympics. <laughs> so what does B-A-R-B stand for? British Army Rape Blair. <laughs> <laughs> is, is it uh, Blair accidentally <laughs> rents broke back? <laughs> Someone accidentally rent broke back. I don't know, but oh, a lot of people dumb. claim to. So. <laughs> They've got a recruiting drive on in Scotland at the minute, the army. 
Because that's what you need if you're fighting an unwinnable war in the desert. More ginger, people. <laughs> Uh, well, Blunkett apparently uh, rang up the, uh, the guy in charge of Lincoln Prison during the riots and said that he should send in the army uh, to machine gun the prison. <laughs> they, machine gun? Machine hasn't gun hasn't he seen the damage they can do? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some bloke, I killed many times, but I'm better now, thanks to Buckaroo. <laughs> <laughs> they tend to play Buckaroo with their cellmates anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's throwing the saddle again. <laughs> My favourite army thing, can I just tell you? Mm. I went to the Chinese New Year in Leicester Square and it said uh, the Red Arrows are coming along, right? So we hug around. What? And it's just the blokes, not the plates. <laughs> <laughs> They're not even wearing their outfits. <laughs> I'm pissed off. No smoke coming no, out of their right. asses, nothing. Because that's yeah. not racist at all, is it? That's just calling someone a bastard. Yeah. <laughs> We've never tried this in Scotland, really. <laughs> What do you mean there are worse words than cunt? <laughs> now, a Scottish guy is the number one British tennis player? I've not checked my Nostradamus, but isn't that one of the harbingers of the apocalypse? <laughs> the only time I'd previously seen a Scottish guy playing tennis, it was someone playing charades, attempting to mime the word homosexual. <laughs> the answer is crazy, loopy and un-British. Is it what is Prince Philip? <laughs> what do you call slapping a bulldog? <laughs> <laughs> I actually know the answer to this one. I think it's what people were saying about the lady who was wearing the crucifix for British Airways, Peter Hain, people like that. That's absolutely right. She should have been nailed to a cross while she was doing the safety demonstration. <laughs> <laughs> the exits are here. <laughs> <laughs> More to it, hasn't there? It can't just, they can't just have been annoyed about her wearing a cross. No, Probably she was hassling Jewish passengers. Yeah. Did you pack your own bags, madam? And why did you kill Jesus? <laughs> the guy that put the bombs in his shoes, he wasn't actually a terrorist, wasn't he just a nutter? So he tried to set Richard fire Reed. to no, his he own shoes with matches. Yeah. As, a, as a method of detonating explosives, that's up there with clutching a stick of dynamite between your butt cheeks and eating a curry. <laughs> <laughs> the travel news uh, of, the, of the greatest travel story of the week was Tina the tortoise. Uh, Tina the tortoise <laughs> lost a leg, so they attached uh, a rear wheel to the back of Tina's shell. <laughs> to be honest, it's going to make fuck all difference uh. to that tortoise. <laughs> He said, they doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> it barely moves anyway. They're going to put it in a box at Christmas and it'll die. <laughs> but Let's get a fucking problem. show pet next season, right? Yeah, yeah. I guarantee you it'll fucking die in the middle of episode one. <laughs> In the middle of scenes we'd like to see. <laughs> Dead giraffe will come slamming through the screen. Man. Laugh, Whoa. but that would be a better show. Yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> Frankie's, Frankie's like that. <laughs> no, Frankie! <laughs> <laughs> They've got to learn. <laughs> While we're discussing uh, childhood and upbringing, by the way, the story that we couldn't possibly fit in under either armies or transport, Madonna. What bothers me about it is that the only black role models this wee boy will have are homosexual backing dancers. <laughs> also, Madonna's already got a son. She has, He's yeah, now yeah, going to be rocket. spending all his pocket money on karate lessons and a penis pump. <laughs> Bad things to say when leading troops into battle. Soon you'll be at home with your families, in a jar on the mantel. <laughs> Our best hope is that the enemy kills so many of us, they become slightly depressed. <laughs> Unlikely things to hear on Blue Peter. Today we'll show you how to make an ashtray using the shell of a dead tortoise. <laughs> when we say the vandals have killed the goldfish, we mean they've shat in the pond. <laughs> Sadly, Goldie is no longer with us after she savaged a toddler. <laughs> With a couple of batteries and a toilet roll holder, you can make a fantastic Mother's Day vibrator. <laughs> what does PTSD stand for? Is it, is it Prescott to swallow Dorset? <laughs> Prescott's tired scrotum disintegrates. <laughs> you know, no, the mother load is pulmonary thrombosis sudden death. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's finally found a taste he doesn't like. <laughs> What I like about Prescott is he'll use the money that he makes getting onto the gravy train to create an actual gravy train. We already have, don't we, the Diana Memorial, which was supposed to, you know, show the joy and grief of her life. And I think that it's uh, succeeded completely. You know, you've got the joy, haven't you, of splashing about in the fountain. 
and the grief of slipping over on the leaves <laughs> and smacking your head. Not to mention the fact that it's shaped like a racetrack. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant. We've got this horrible fountain and Paris got that wonderful, beautiful, please slow down in the tunnel sign. <laughs> <laughs> you, know that, you know you get those, you know you get those celebrity sat-navs now? You can actually get a Diana one. It just keeps saying, put your foot down, I think we can lose them. <laughs> Do you know, I've done a computer programme that works out what the Daily Mail's average headline is, and it's asylum seekers carry a new type of AIDS that lowers house prices. <laughs> How does the Queen know if she's on holiday? She doesn't fucking do anything. <laughs> I think the royals get to meet any real people. I reckon everyone they meet is some kind of secret agent. Like, even like Harry's girlfriend will be like a transsexual Gurkha. <laughs> She won the slut contest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was careful. How do you think you get to be Prince Harry's girlfriend? She's probably not by entering a slut contest. Yes, it was. Uh, <laughs> the end of the slut contest is they have to try and pick up the royal orb using only their vaginal muscles. <laughs> an event which they drop from It's a Royal Knockout. <laughs> you hear all this stuff about TV being faked. Of course oh, it's faked. Man. It's all faked. You know that documentary a couple of weeks ago about tribal warfare among monkeys? That was all filmed in a Yates's wine lodge in Dundee. <laughs> Comic relief is faked. Everybody in Africa is fine. <laughs> I saw a documentary about Paris Hilton, and this could just be a story, but it said that when she was in jail, the warders put sperm into her porridge. That must have been a horrible moment for her. Oh, there's porridge in this. <laughs> the answer is sparrows, otters and hedgehogs. What is the question? Is it, as a child, what did I dress in military uniforms to reenact the Battle of Stalingrad, <laughs> the German forces being played by a lawnmower? <laughs> <laughs> is Which, it what are waiting patiently in a queue to get into Richard Gere's arse? <laughs> <laughs> Won't be getting in. <laughs> what, is there a bouncer on the arse? Yeah. <laughs> not with spines, mate, not tonight. <laughs> What's on the menu at a gypsy wedding? <laughs> <laughs> got to the stage where sparrows and otters are becoming extinct. I mean, the next series of Spring Watch is going to be like Schindler's List. <laughs> Just all shown in black and white with a little robin's red breast. <laughs> Bellotti smuggling badgers through Belgium. <laughs> it's going to be horrific. Like the pandas want to die. The pandas want to die out and we're forcing them to have sex. <laughs> Imagine that in your deathbed, some zookeeper's trying to make you hump someone. <laughs> I can. It's not a bad <laughs> extinction, is it? I mean, it's less stuff to have to learn to teach your kids. Yeah. What's that, Daddy? Well, it's a dog, because there's only dogs left. <laughs> <laughs> They're orphaned hedgehogs. They are orphaned that hedgehogs. That have clinged to a brush because it reminds them of their mother. <laughs> what that's, just, say, that's, just oh. the, that's just the image that we've put on to yeah. that picture. Yeah. I mean, they could view that brush as a sex doll. Yeah. <laughs> what does it matter what Cameron says anyway? It's like, it's like Ben Stiller saying that he's going to lower income tax or <laughs> Wayne Rooney committing more troops to Iraq. Yeah. It's just, you've got to have power for it to have any sort of relevance. Uh, things an athletics commentator would never say. Here are the runners in the second heat of the women's 400 metres in order of fuckability. <laughs> There's a white man in the final of the 100 metres. Good luck with that. <laughs> And that one at the end must feel like a right cunt. <laughs> Tragedy in the water polo as most of the horses drown. <laughs> London have explained the design of their Olympic logo. Apparently they threw a paraplegic off a car park and drew a chalk outline around his body. These triple jumpers have trained for years to go bouncing along the concrete like retards. The worst thing to say when running for US president. I intend to withdraw from Iraq, invade some real pussies like Spain. <laughs> I will never forget the terrible events of 9-12. <laughs> there are no skeletons in my closet, just a black latex dildo suit. <laughs> I don't to just, just want to appeal to white voters, I also want to reach out to chinks, wops and negroes. <laughs> oh my gosh, rapid fire. I'm going to have to watch, I've never actually watched Mock the Week just in the 
normal way. So I'm definitely going to have to check that out just to see what the show is actually like in a regular format. Because this is just rapid fire, Frankie Boyle saying stuff so fat, which is still hilarious. But, still, you know, I'd like to see what a normal show looks like because it looks like a lot of fun. And I'm sure they're not as good as Frankie, but I'd like to hear what the other people have to say every once in a while. But don't worry, I will definitely be checking out part three at some point. I'll probably do another still game reaction first. Because uh, I definitely want to keep those going, but I am trying to go back and forth between stuff. But uh, it's just trying to post more often and give you those videos that you keep requesting. So keep making those requests. I'll keep getting to them. There have been tons for different comedians, for more Frankie Boyle, different Frankie Boyle, uh, like the Tramadol Knights, Chewing the Fat, since I've been doing Still Game, Chewing the Fat's been recommended. So many different things. I am keeping a list. I will be getting to them as I can, but... Right now, it's going to be still game and then something else, still, you know, because I want to keep that still game train going. And then maybe I'll pick another show when I'm done still game. But I'm I'm only on season or series four right now. So maybe I'll start interspersing a different show with that. So tell me what you want to see in the comments. I will try to get to it all. I appreciate it. And I appreciate everyone who has uh, liked the videos and subscribed. If you haven't yet, please do. Helps the channel grow, helps more people find it, and helps us all have more fun. And that's kind of like why we're here for the most part, is to have fun. That's why I do this. I don't know why you're doing it. <laughs> but anyway, this has been great. Thank you for the suggestion, and I'll see you next time.